Well, we're hoping that it works out. Thank you, Kayla. And now, Rebecca, we turn our attention back to you and the weather. Yes, it's looking really nice as we go into the next several days ahead. In fact, even to the weekend, we've got sunshine, but we're going to have varying amounts of morning clouds to start out each day. Right now, we've got plenty of sunshine up around Tattoosh Range or Mount Rainier showing blue skies and clearing out. We got a nice view also for La Push at First Beach. This is up on the north coast. You can see the waves are coming in. It seems somewhat calm out there. We're calm for the most part. There is a storm system offshore but the good news is it's not going to do much to bring us any rainfall as we go to Hansville lots of high clouds still streaming through but gradual clearing is beginning and we'll continue to see those clouds clear out as winds become more of a northerly northwesterly direction right now at school net station from Avanti High School the first laps of the uh, the time lapse you could see some high clouds they're trying to precipitate but they're not having much luck they pretty much just float off to the north and dissipate and We've got blue skies and sunshine for Olympia. It hasn't quite cleared out completely around the Seattle waterfront. 65 degrees, partly sunny skies. The winds out of the west-northwest will be coming more northerly in their direction in the afternoon. That's going to help clear us out even more in most all areas of western Washington. We are expecting sunny skies this afternoon into the evening. Temperatures right now mainly in the mid-60s. And those winds you can see here are primarily out of the north down the Puget Sound. But as we've got a little bit different directions elsewhere, we're going to see those take some time and switching around for us. High pressure is basically for us pretty weak. It's centralized in southwest uh, in the southwest of the United States. So it's pushing up a kind of a flat, weaker ridge for us. And that's why we've got these clouds still streaming by. It'll clear out to sunny slowly but surely. But as we have this frontal system move into Canada, just to the north of us, it will enhance some onshore flow. And that will bring us varying amounts of morning clouds to clear away each day for plenty of sun. Temperatures though, today we're going to be in the mid 60s to the north interior around 72 for Mount Vernon and also for Bellevue and Seattle. So upper 60s to low 70s with partly to mostly sunny skies through the course of the afternoon becoming clear later on tonight 74 for Shelton and also out on the coast temperatures getting close to 70 in places like Aberdeen, Hoquiam and PL mid to upper 60s closer to the water on the coast. East of the Cascades, also becoming beautiful here today, upper 70s to low 80s. And here on the seven-day forecast, you can see each day will be mostly sunny, and it's a gradual warming into the upper 70s Friday and Saturday, Sunday, Father's Day, and the first day of summer. Well, that's a double whammy there. Guys are going to want to get out there, and fathers are going to want to golf because temperatures will be in the low 80s with all that sunshine. Clear and sunny Monday and Tuesday with temperatures in the mid 80s. Yeah, it's going to be pretty warm. Right now, it's looking like Monday is definitely the warmest day of the stretch. It might approach 90 degrees, Steve. Wow, and still impressive that we're like 20 or 30 degrees less than so much of the southwest and the western part of the country. But that warm-up is coming. Thank you, Rebecca.